How's everybody doing? My videos for this week and next week is getting flipped due to the fact that UPS ran three days late. And it's probably going to push me a little bit to get my wool line changed, but I'll get it done. But today, I'm going to talk about Karyakin Momentum Vegabond Bag. First off, I got to thank SquidMonster43 on Instagram. I had questions because the Saddleman's was the same way. I was kind of torn between a Saddleman and a Karyakin. But he sent me some pictures and videos, which is why I'm doing this video, because the reviews that are on it, <laughs> they don't put any of their gear, their camera equipment, their laptop, none of that. So you, I didn't know if it would fit. And I also need to thank uh, Droop underscore Moto on Instagram, and he's Droop on YouTube. I put a link to his stuff. Uh, bo actually, I put a link to both of them down in the description. He recommended the Karyakin, uh Road Warrior. And for what I needed... I, there was things about it I did not like. For instance, there's no top pockets, and it was one big open pocket here to access the inside. Then you had both sides that opened up, but only one side would access the computer, and the other side would not. So since I, and it's only an inch difference, and maybe an inch wider than the Vegabond, but I took a chance. I uh, listened to both of them. I seen the video. My uh, laptop measures in at 14 and a half inches by 10 and a quarter. So this particular bag, it will not fit in the laptop pocket, but it will stand straight up, which I will show here in a little bit inside the bag. Which I kind of like that better because it will be protected by clothes on one side and have more padding on the other. Um, so let's go through this thing. I have made some modifications. And I guess I'll hit those first. i uh been on a Powerade kick. So I know I'm going to at least have one to two Powerades in this bag. But as you can see here, the way they made it, this slopes at an angle. So, at least a little pressure here, it starts coming out. Fly out down the road. So, I had a old jacket from my military days. Had some elastic in it and a little slider string. And I tied a knot in it, used some heat shrink to make it look a little bit better. But, run that over the top, pull it down, it ain't going nowhere. And I did that on both sides because when I do stop and need something to drink, it might be warm, but I got something there. The uh, Both the side pockets are exactly the same. Just flap down a little net. Be good for tools in case something happens, you start having issues on the road. Uh, zip ties, some electrical tape. I still got to figure out what my toolkit's actually going to be. And this side is exactly the same way. And I don't exactly know what I'm going to put in that, but the main reason that I chose this one over the Road Warrior. If I dilly dally too long and it starts getting dark, I have tinted lenses in my helmet. And if while we're there, if we're out at night riding, there's a no helmet law. But I still need lenses, still need some kind of glasses. I ain't gonna be able to use sunglasses because it'll be dark. But if I am on the way there and it gets dark, I can just open this up, reach in here. Plenty of room, which I plan on putting my camera gear 
in here. My laptop charger port. And then all my cell phone adapters and stuff's in this box. So I still got room for my external battery. I still got room for my sun, my uh, clear lens holder. I, I have Wiley X from back in the military days. Big wide ones. Ballistic glasses. I'm just going to use those. They'll fit in this. And I still have room. So I think maybe this side I'll put some sunscreen if it won't fit in that I'm gonna put it in here because I did get burnt the other day going to riding with DDK underscore TN so I really don't want to get burnt again I know I am but I don't want to so here is the inside you got a small pocket here and you got a small pocket here this mesh and then you have a whole length right here so you can I don't know what you would put in there I don't even know what I'm gonna put in I'm still trying to figure out what I need to take and what my loadouts gonna be but let me lighten this load a little bit so I don't tear nothing up just for the video out okay so this is the inside pretty deep at your laptop pocket but I think what I'm gonna do is carry a bottle of uh, instant shine a microfiber towel uh, probably my body wash I'll stick in this pocket too put them in ziploc bags so in case something happens they don't leak all over my laptop and everything else um, I haven't figured out exactly all what I'm going to put in there, but I'm going to put something in there. And if I can get to the zipper, I think it opens. There's a zipper right here. I guess it just goes to the inside so apparently these zippers don't work if they do they uh yeah apparently you can't get into those zippers they're just in there to help hold it together so here's the reason why this laptop which is 14 and a half this way and ten and a quarter that way. Now, had they had kind of stopped it right here on this upper pocket and flattened this out, you'd be able to shut it. But as you can see, you can't shut it that way. And it won't fit that way because it's too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it down this way and she'll sit right in there and she'll fall all over the place you could put it flat if you wanted to but the problem with that is it's the soft plastic on the bottom if it was hard and wouldn't deform to the seat when you strap it down it might be okay but I'm just gonna stand it up. That way I can still get my shoes and all my clothes around it. And there's still padding right here on this, so that'll work out fine. And then once you get all your clothes in, you got your X strap here, you can close it and it kinda keeps it shape a little bit. Now I know somebody's thinking, well that's not really enough room But you got all these molly straps here that you can add stuff. You got them up here too. And I need to look more in to see. Maybe they have an external toolkit to strap right up to it. I might, I might get one of those in the future. Uh, I am going to take a hoodie and I'll just throw it in this pot, this 
strap pocket here and tighten it down. I did put some uh, heat shrink on this just to clean it up. Hopefully that don't annoy me when I lean back. But if that's still not enough room, you need just a little bit more room. This comes with shoulder strap, which you can clip on one side and one side, or you could clip them both on the same side, but it's going to dangle funny. It does have a top pocket here, but I wouldn't use it if it was full. I'd use the two side ones or the shoulder strap. It comes with this extra Velcro, double-sided. There's two of them, and I didn't read the instructions to see what they're for. They're probably extra support, but seeing where it is, I don't know if I'd want to wrap that around any part of my bike, especially a painted part, being Velcro right here, would wear the paint. So these I probably won't use. They have these two, and the cool things about the straps is they have Velcro at the end. So when you get it to the length you want, you can just, if you got to fold it up a little bit, you can fold it up like so, lay the Velcro down, and then it's, it's nice and, I say it's nice and clean, I just pulled it apart. When it's sitting there, it's nice and cleaner than straps is laying around. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to probably blow out of that, but I'll cross that road when I get there. But there's two of these that I'm going to clip probably either on this D-ring or where did I put that? Or I'll clip it on this lower D-ring which is probably what I'm going to do is clip them both on the bottom. And the reason for that is I need just a little bit more room. I have tested this on the bike. It's going to be a nice backrest as long as I have it packed good enough. Uh, let me go over this before I go to the next step. This back, I, I have mixed feelings on this setup. I think they should have uh, I think Karyakin should have had these buckles come to right here or in the center and meet up and the reason for that is on my sissy bar this top one clears I haven't ran it through here but on the top one because the sissy bar pads in the way so that one's just going to go around the bar and be stuck this one here if I remember right it's the same way so the only one I can really weave through is this one here and have the bar come through this through here and back through here and then come around but the problem I have is once you clip that in the sissy bar is right here on the plastic so I know it's gonna at least dull out my powder coat possibly even wear through so what I think I'm gonna do is probably get a micro towel or microfiber towel or some felt or something and put on the back side of this just so I don't have that issue but if you have a narrower sissy bar this away I don't think you'll have a problem but mine's wide because I have a 240 rear tire so it's right there at the end it kind of gently angled about like yay so I think if Carrie, I can clean that up and add some cup holder retainers here, so I wouldn't have had to do that. Uh, I think the bag would be perfect. Or put, take these Molly straps off and have elastic there, so that cups in and you have it flat through here. I think it would be perfect. But overall, I think it's going to do what I need it to do. But I feel like I need this a little bit more room. This bag, I believe, is a uh, Unic, I think was what it was called. It's just a small round bag that I got after I got my Sportster. But 
here's the cool thing. You can take these because these straps come with the Vagabond bag and you can clip the D-rings in so they don't pop off. And then once you get your stuff in this, I would pack lighter stuff in this so it don't crush your, if you're a moto vlogger, it don't crush your camera equipment or your laptop. So keep the lighter stuff up here. But if you clip them in there, you spin around to the back, clip it in here, it'll sit perfect and your sissy bar will still go around that. So you'll have a sissy bar holding it up, but it'll be strapped down to the bag. So it won't go anywhere. And the thing I really like about it is if it does get dark on me. I can reach in and still grab my glasses. Now, one problem I haven't figured out yet that I have to figure out, this one has a rain cover. But it only goes to that. This bag, the rain cover stored down here in the bottom with all the weight sitting on it. I don't like that. I think it needs to be a pocket in the back. And I don't know how this is even going to work or if it will work. I don't think, it'll, well, it'll cover most of it, but the issue that The issue that most people are going to have to have sissy bars is going to be that much unexposed. And then if you have this one up here, you're definitely not you're definitely not going to be able to do it because if you have to stop and put the rain covers on this rain cover on this bag it's just this bag so you'd have to stick your sissy bar through this and I have a tall sissy bar if you have a short one that's not an issue but the rain cover does fit on it it's sitting here perfect so if you have a smaller sissy bar it's gonna cover but for me having a super tall one I'm not gonna have that luxury so I gotta figure out exactly what to do with it because I can't put this one on and then strap this one back down on top because of the rain cover and this rain cover with this one strapped down I still have the issue of the sissy bar bag or the sissy bar affecting the rain cover. So if I probably look something I probably look something about like yay. It's not gonna go all the way down. You're still gonna have a lot out. It, it says it's water resistant. I seen reviews where it said it started raining and everything in the guy's pack got soaked. So I might go find some water repellent spray and spray this down tomorrow just to give it that extra little bit and hope for the best because this rain cover is not going to work for my setup. Yeah, I need a bigger one that will go over a taller sissy bar. But I got this on Amazon. I think it was $224. Uh, this one here, I do not remember how much I paid for it. It was probably about three or four years ago. So I got this one here at Biker Rags over in Clinton. And this one came from Amazon. But the most important part for not only moto vloggers, but anybody has got to take a laptop with them. If you got a 14 inch wide laptop, or honestly, I would say a 15 even would probably fit 
14 and three quarters would be fine. But if it was big, you could you could just lean it down in down in here like that and pack around it, and it would I think it would ride fine as long as you wasn't slamming into it with your back. But for me, I'm okay with sitting it in like so. If I can pick this thing up like so. Uh, it'll it'll ride good. I'll put worst case I'll just pull it out and I'll put my pants or my shirts behind it and give it a little bit more cushion. That way when I am leaning on it and it's strapped to the sissy bar, it don't put pressure on it and crack your laptop. And my particular laptop is a Acer Nitro gaming laptop. So it's a it says on the box it's a 15.5 inch laptop. But I took a tape measure to it. But I do want to thank Squid Monster 43 and Droop Moto. Uh, go check out Droop and Dallas Face Mullet on their Monday live streams. They're really entertaining. Better than what's on TV for me, anyways. Um, I'll put links to uh, Droop down there. I'll try to put Dallas's in if I can find it. And next week I'll have my oil line replacement. I'm gonna try to get that video shot tomorrow and uploaded and queued, ready to release next Wednesday. I should be riding back home or getting home about the time it releases. And then the week after will be Myrtle Beach. Uh, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get. I don't know what footage I'm actually gonna use for myself or put on Hells on Two Wheels video when I take that one over. But I know we're gonna have fun. Uh, we Ride West Virginia is gonna be there too. So we're gonna go and have a blast. So if you have any questions, about this, with camera equipment, how much I can pack in it, how did it ride to and from um, Myrtle Beach, put them down in the comments. I'll, as soon as I can see the comment, I'll comment on it. I do know one thing is they need better zippers that lock, where you can put a lock on this. Because if you do go to the gas station, make sure you go to one that's well lit and a lot of honest people are at because if you're dishonest it, it won't take much just to pull a zipper and clear out whatever's in that pocket or just take a knife and slice it and run off with it probably shouldn't have said that because I give people ideas but go in there like comment subscribe hit that little bell down there and it'll update when I release my next video and hopefully some of y'all I'll see in Myrtle Beach. I'll be there Sunday to Wednesday unless I'm uh, asked to stay longer. So I guess I'll see you on the next one next week. Get out on the road, ride, and I'll see you on the next one.